now we are going to write the code for the subscriber and uh, we are not going to write someone else is going to write yeah the chat gpt you can use chat gpt to write your code she can get rid of the struggle of writing the code you can just tell chat gpt and get what you want uh, okay we will do that we will say to chat gpt write the ross to cpp string subscriber o code hit enter the one thing that you need to understand about a subscriber a subscriber will be called whenever it receives data and there will be a callback function that will be called whenever the subscriber receives the data and uh, then you can do your further processing so it has provided us the code we will use this to open up our vs code in which we have already a publisher and my node.cpp file we will just create another one new file uh, subscriber.cvp yes we have this and uh, we will just copy and paste it here all right it has created the subscriber with a similar fashion except you can see it here instead of using create publisher it has used create subscriber and there is a callback function the string callback that is declared here if this is just printing the information explain the core line by line it is going to solve all the problem that you can possibly have with the code and uh, there you go uh, it will explain everything so we have a subscriber code here but we cannot use it why because we have to tell that we have created a node to the package how we do that we mention it in package xml file and cmake lists okay in the package xml we declare the dependencies so it is dependent on std messages that we have already declared so that's it we will not edit anything in the package xml file but we will go to the cmake list and there we will add a node so we will just copy it here paste it we will say listener and then the path is src and the file name is subscriber listener not name and it depends on rcl cpp and std messages in the install we will just write the name of the node which is listener yes and now we will try to build it the code is built source install local setup source workspace and now we will run the subscriber ross to run turtle same port and press the world tab now it is offering three nodes so we will just write listener and uh, hit enter so now the node is running and we will see ross topic now we see there is a topic that is topic name and this is our the name of the subscriber but in the publisher the topic name was just topic we will just try to modify both of the topics and we will give them a common name in order to set their communication remember if we want a publisher and subscriber communicate there should be a common topic with the same name okay come here to the publisher and there is the topic which is topic trained message communication okay so this is our topic name now save it and also come here and this is the subscriber topic 
Okay, so now we will build it again. And now we will run our subscriber. And uh, now we will check the name of the topic. And there we go. String message communication. Okay. So currently it is not showing any data because there is no publisher. What we will do, we will just uh, open another terminal. Source install local setup dot bash and uh, now the terminal is sourced and it knows we have a workspace called ROS2 workspace and now we will run the ROS2 run turtle same port and then the publisher which was docker and uh, it is publishing the data hopefully and uh, there you go it is and we can also check it from here ROS2 topic Echo topic name and it is also receiving the data here okay and press ctrl c kill it and now we will see the connection using rqt graph rqt underscore graph Okay, the nodes are minimal publisher and the string subscriber and the topic name is string message communication.